Hi everyone. She was isolated for nearly two weeks while infectious mites fed under her skin. For the first time, we're hearing from one of the inmates who was infected with scabies at Core Civic. New at six tonight as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan explains the woman says she was denied access to her prescribed medication. Kyle. You know, Wendy Sneed hasn't talked about this publicly before. She says now she wants her story to be heard. That story is one of denial of the scabies outbreak, and what Sneed says is a lack of action. For Wendy Sneed, what happened in the Core Civic Detention Center is more than just a painful memory. But after this, it's all, it's all scabies. She says she'll live with a fear of any skin imperfections for the rest of her life. Poison ivy on steroids, terrible, just terrible. For time, she served. Well, it was a DUI that I got in 2013. On a nonviolent offense. I ended up having to do a five month jail sentence. She believes her punishment became too harsh starting on May 7th. Many, in my, in, in my room alone, there were five of us. Sneed says a small rash on her arm turned to hundreds across her body. She says medical staff told her it was her soap then chiggers, then probably mold, everything except this. They took us to a, a dermatologist appointment outside um, that the health department arranged, and she diagnosed with scabies. After Sneed was brought back to Core Civic, she was put in isolation. She says scabies covered her whole body, but only one of the two prescribed treatments were given to her over the next 10 days. We were not allowed to take a shower we, uh, for days. Um, no phone calls, no tele no privileges whatsoever. Okay. I mean, it was like being punished. Sneed says she never got her prescribed cream while she was in jail, only when she got out on May 30th and went straight to the emergency room. As soon as he saw me, he, he, he knew. A doctor gave her the drug on the spot. Now Sneed is part of a class action lawsuit. It's aimed at holding Core Civic responsible for the outbreak and spread. What would be their reasoning for not treating this? What would be their reasoning for letting it get completely out of hand? Many questions she hopes will be answered. Some sort of justice for Sneed says it took two weeks from her first signs to have someone address her symptoms in the detention center. I did reach out to Core Civic for a comment. They said they won't comment on pending litigation. Kyle Rand, News Channel 5.